Roger's place in Edmonton as we continue with After Hours. Joining us in the Euler Hall of Fame room now is Zach Hyman. He of uh, personal best, goals, assists, points. Goal number 34 tonight. When did you know this was going to be your year? <laughs> I don't think you ever do. I think you go into every year, you know, trying to do your best and, and trying to help the team. And obviously we're, we're coming off of a Western Conference Finals, so I wanted to you know, do better myself and, and obviously as a team. And uh, we clinched today, so that's the most important. Well, here's some evidence of your outstanding season. Thank you. <laughs> right right, right okay. from the get-go, though, you could just tell that there was a sense, you know, you're kind of in your second year with this team. Mm -hmm. You know the caliber of players you're playing with. Um, you came prepared this year, as you often do, all the time. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I think it's just obviously a comfort level also with the, with the group and with the guys and, and it not being kind of brand new, right? Yeah. I think that, that helps a lot, too. Well, so clearly, Zach, you're not disposed to talking about your personal numbers, so <laughs> we're going to have to do it for you. Yeah. Louis got the stats. Well, you know, a career high. You got a goal and assist tonight, 80 points on the season, so congratulations there. Nice. You continue to build on uh, on a career year that you set last year in your first year with Edmonton, and uh, you clinched a playoff spot again tonight, so congratulations on that. How did uh, that win tonight feel with everything that went on, witnessing the 50 goals of mm -hmm. Dreisaitl? I mean, Connor with another one, you with a goal and assist. It was a pretty big night for the entire team including Jack Campbell with a shutout as well and you know him for a long time yeah it was awesome I think uh, it wasn't the greatest start from us and, and Jack kept us in it in the, in the game there in the first period and then we kind of found our legs and, mm -hmm. and went from there and like you said got contributions from from all those guys and I, I just think for us to have back-to-back -back shutouts is, is really important it's it's a it's a thing where we know we can score goals and and we're the, the you know, highest scoring team in the league but it's about keeping it out of our net and and for for us to be able to do that i think uh it, it speaks a lot to where, where our team has grown over the course of the year so zach dar asks uh, how about a new stat in the nhl for you disallowed goals <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lost eight be. on challenges yeah. this year and you... one that wasn't challenged so that's nine you've actually put the puck in the net 43 times yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, I think, uh, yeah, I think coaches just probably challenge all my goals and they'd have good success, so. Well, you know what? You have to go to those areas to score goals, don't you? And that's, that's kind of where of you go. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's the hazard of the job, and you're not doing your job if you don't get a few taken away every once in a while because you're not in the thick of things. Right? 100%. Yeah, just give yourself a chance, right? Yeah. If it goes in... You never know what the coaches challenge. I've obviously been on the, on the uh, other end of it, but, uh, yeah, you never know, so. Tonight's win, uh, four straight for the Oilers. You're nine, one, and one in your last 11 after huge wins over Vegas and LA this week. The LA game was something. Uh, Marcel asks, city rivalry aside, would you say there's more hate on the ice between the Oilers and the Kings or the Oilers and the Flames? Yeah, that's a good one. I think uh, obviously we played against both teams in the, in the playoffs, so there's that. Uh, obviously this year, I think we're, you know we're battling LA for for a spot bang vegas it's, it's pretty tight with, with those three teams so there's uh there's a lot of uh, you know intensity in, in both those series it's hard to, to choose one obviously the, the calgary series has a way more history and, and that's always a, a special one to play in all right mm -hmm. let's get off the ice you and alana welcomed your second son bennett in august a brother for theo who's now three uh, one of the reasons you chose edmonton to sign here was because you felt this was a good place to raise your family how's that part of your life working out it's awesome. It's it's really uh, been everything we hoped for. Great schools in the area, uh, great area to live in, and uh, oh, there are the boys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ben's a little bigger now, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's it's just uh, it's a special place, and and we're we're fortunate that we have great teammates and and kids the same age as as Theo and Ben. So they they all hang out together. They do music class. They do different play dates and and whatnot. So it, it's uh, it's fun to grow that. Alana has a law degree, graduate of Osgoode Hall. You said on the day she graduated that that was it for you, winning arguments. Is her law career as a young mother temporarily on hold? Oh, yeah. She loses arguments to Theo all the time. So, <laughs> so uh, the, yeah. the hierarchy has changed. I'm still at the bottom, but uh, but the two boys are, are, are above her now. So, uh, yeah, she's put that aside to, to be obviously a full-time mom and, and take care of of, of our, our two boys because we obviously go on the road a lot. But, uh, yeah, it's... it's uh, 
it's it's definitely fun. For some reason, uh, Halloween parties are a tradition for NHL teams, <laughs> oh and you are, you know what's coming, you are expected to put a lot of work into your costumes, and you guys did. Now, we're going back a bit to last October, but uh, this picture is too good not to share. Yeah, no, that's a good one. I had to scrub Even those. Even the tats, yeah, too, right? Yeah. The ta honestly, I came to the, next, to the rink the next day, and I still had them on because they were like those temporary ones that yep. you put on. Um, oh, yeah, Atlanta likes to go full out for it, and, and I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, people didn't really recognize me with it. Whose idea was that costume? That was Atlanta. We were watching there that, that series yeah. on, on Netflix. Uh, well, we should point out that's Pam Anderson Pam and, and Tommy, Tommy Lee, yeah. for yeah. people who might not know. Yeah, we were yeah. watching it, and uh, it was fun. Yeah, it, it was it was fun to dress up, and it's definitely out of my character and my element to have tattoos and whatnot. That's why it's great. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, that's Halloween, isn't it? Uh, exactly. Yep. So we had a lot of fun with it. Here's another picture we picked off your Instagram account. Uh, you and Mr. Hockey going way back. Louie. Yeah, you know what? Your dad told a great story on the dad's trip about – this interaction with Gordy Howe, I'll just let you lead the way, but it's about why you have such a great work ethic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool story. Um, back in the day, you know, obviously I didn't see Gordy Howe play live. My dad and my grandpa were, were huge fans, and they would always tell me stories about Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe. And uh, this was in Hamilton when we were changing the name uh, to the Hamilton Red Wings, and Gordy Howe uh, was brought out to Hamilton and Mountain Arena. And uh, obviously I was a young kid there, and I, and I got to meet him, and I heard, heard all these stories about him and about this big guy. And the first time I, I, I meet him, he throws me an elbow, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I shake his hand, he's got these big, big hands. Um, and he, he whispered to me, 100% uh, is all we ask in the NHL, and I was a huge fan. I took that to heart, and, and kind of it's been a, a mantra for me ever since. Well, awesome. you know, I think it's great that current players like you have an appreciation for players who came before them, blazed the trail, and uh, especially Mr. Hockey. Pride nights have become a hot topic around the NHL. Uh, the Oilers was last Saturday. We could go tonight. Uh, there was no controversy over it. You and Connor McDavid made some very declarative statements in favor of welcoming the LGBTQ plus community. And so this then from recovering Flyers fan. Uh, for Zach, I appreciated your thoughtful insights on recent events surrounding Pride. Some players are not as comfortable speaking to issues deemed by some to be political, but you showed courage and conviction. Uh, what do you attribute this to? And she, or he or she says, thanks for being an ally. Oh, I well, appreciate that. Uh, I think it's just the way I was raised that, you know, it doesn't matter what your gender is, what your sexual orientation is, what your religion is, it's what the color of your skin is. If you're a good person, you, sh you should be accepted and you should be allowed to, to be who you are um, and, and to be happy being yourself. And that's just the way I was raised. And to me, it's a black and white. It's not even an issue or a political question. It's just how things should be in, in 2023 uh, and proud to be an ally, proud to be, um, you know, supporting <laughs> all groups. And in, in this particular situation, obviously the LGBTQ plus community, I just think it's it's a no-brainer. And the Pride tape, yeah. one way of showing your support, um, was made here in Edmonton, developed in Edmonton for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's it's special. I didn't know about that, obviously, until I, yeah. I came yeah. to Edmonton. Uh, Oilers started using it in the skills competition in 2016, yep. so there's a case to be made that the Pride celebrations in the NHL actually started here. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's it's uh, yeah, it's it's unique that obviously it started in Edmonton and, and we were able to kind of carry on that tradition. Um, and it's it, yeah, I think it's just an important tradition to you know to show that hockey is welcoming to everyone. You and Alana have a very busy life, obviously with two kids under the age of four, but you still have time to write books, uh, kids' yeah. books, uh, three of them so far. The Magician's Secret, the most recent. Here is your reading or a portion of it. There we go. I'll say that again. Beautiful. Uh, and The Magician's Secret, two books before it, Hockey Hero and The Bambino and Me are all about believing in yourself, uh, that you can make your dreams come true. Is there a fourth book in the works? <laughs> There's always a fourth book in the mm -hmm. works. It's something that uh, I'm passionate about. I write all the time. Been a little extra busy with uh, with the two boys and, mm -hmm. and reading them stories. And uh, I think I've gotten a greater appreciation for, for kids' books and, and uh Sorry to all the parents that uh, for my book being a little on the long side, I, I know for myself, whenever Theo's done reading a book, it's another one, another one. So, But I, I enjoy writing, and uh, a fourth book will, will definitely be coming. No timeline on it, though.
Kev CB asks, are there any, uh, any plans for a future children's book on all, all the goals you've had called back this year? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? A good lesson oh, to keep persevering. Right. Right? Look, we're just about out of time, but one quick comment from you on uh, your other passion, Eleven Holdings, which is your, uh, your parent company, your mm -hmm. video gaming business. Yeah, it's uh, our primary company is Soar Gaming. It's a company that's been around for, uh, I think, 12 years. We celebrated the 12th year anniversary, and uh, it's it's an organization with uh, gamers who play in all different games, genres, and it's really just a, a lifestyle brand that we're enjoying building and growing, and it's been really fun to be a part of. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, and we'll leave it there, and I can't wait for Theo to come to you in Atlanta one day and say, I want to be a gamer. See there you go. See yeah. that goes. <laughs> Zach Hyman, second year as an Oiler, by far the best of his career. Exactly. Back to conclude Thanks. proceedings Thanks. in a moment.